So South Africa is the largest producer of platinum globally, but we only have a very, very small portion of the global jewelry manufacturing business. So about 20 years ago, we saw an opportunity to do two things. One was we thought that there was an opportunity to improve job creation, and in particular in the jewelry sector. But secondly, we saw an opportunity that we could help South African jewelry in both the design and manufacture of the jewelry. So in, in particular, focused around platinum. So 20 years ago, we set up the Plat Africa, and over the years, we've seen a very steady increase in the, both the participants and the quality of the competition entries. So the competition is a partnership between Anglo-American Platinum, Metal Concentrators, and PGI India. So what happens is PGI India come up with a theme. This year's theme is called Your Love Has Gone Platinum. And then what they do, they do is they provide that theme to both student competitors and the professional category. And then what they've got to do this year is come up with a design for consumers between the age of 20 and 40 years celebrating a milestone event. And they've got to make sure that their piece then talks to that theme of your love has gone platinum. Anglo-American Platinum provides the metal. Metal concentrators provide the logistics for managing the metal between the, the professionals and the students. And then the PGI India, in addition to providing the theme, they also participate in the judging. So because of the work that we've done under Plat Africa's banner, it has meant that hundreds and hundreds of students and professionals have been given an opportunity to practice and hone their skills. And then of course, over, over recent years, uh, we have both the winners and the runner up of, um, of the student and the professional categories get to travel to India to be part of the prestigious Ivara brand's sourcing of, uh, of uh, products. And so they get international exposure as well. So I think all round we've been very pleased with, with how successful actually the Plat Africa competition has been and the contribution that it's made. So the fact is that jewelry represents over, well, almost 30% of all demand for platinum. So platinum demand comes from three main sectors, uh, industrial, automotive, and jewelry. And so it's a very, very important market segment for us anyway. Um, so something that we, we clearly can't uh, ignore. One of the things that we've also been able to see is that with clever marketing, you can actually influence as a producer, you can influence the amount of demand that there is for jewelry. So platinum has forever, since uh, platinum first started being manufactured, it's been, it's had a different brand to gold. The gold has generally had a brand of a store of wealth and value. Platinum has had a brand of love and emotion. And so that particular brand, coupled with the fact that platinum is extremely rare, it's pure, it's eternal, and it's precious. The combination of the brand and the unique characteristics of, of the platinum metal itself has meant that, um, that it's been a sought after metal in, in uh, many countries uh, for both uh, weddings and engagements. And you can see there the, the connection to the brand of love and emotion. <laughs>